In the last videos, you saw me print out each of these one at a time, one on each line. And what I'm going to do is show you how I did that. So word count is the map. And what we want to do is loop over every element inside. And remember our word count. String is the key. Integer is the value. It's really more important to think about the key at the moment, though. So I want to really look at all the keys, go one at a time, and then expect all the values associated with those keys. So we're going to do word count dot. Now, you might think that we could just do word count dot iterator. However, uh, you can't get an iterator for a map, but you sort of can. And so what we're going to do, we want to look at each key. So we're going to go and grab all the keys. So this is a key set, which means it's a set of all the keys. Now we can grab an iterator. Now this is an iterator string. So it's an iterator string. OK. How do we use this iterator now? I like to go with a while loop while I dot. Look at this. The booleans here has next. So while there's a next, we're just going to print out I. We're going to run to a big problem. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. All right, hopefully you're seeing what's occurring here. And I see the progress bars going back and forth. And it's a little hard to see, but the scroll bar is jumping. And what we're printing out is the iterator. Yes, I want to stop it. That would loop forever. Now you might think, well, shouldn't that iterator be a string? Well, sort of. But you need to get the next element and whenever you do iterator dot next you get the type uh, the iterator uh, was created with so what we really want to print out is the string not the iterator this does two things one of them is it grabs the what the iterator is pointing to meaning the next thing but it also advances the iterator so this loop won't go forever now we run it, and there we go. That's all the words in there. So we just looped over all the words, and now we want to get all the values. So how do we do that? I'm just going to put an extra little space in there with a colon, and we're going to go word count dot. Do not do clear. Here's the get. And this requires a key dot get s. So we're going to print out the value of s. And then we're going to print out, I probably shouldn't use the word value. We'll print out what s contains, the string of s. And then we're going to get the value that's associated with s as a key. And that should be the number of times that word has appeared. And there we go. Now you can see the number of times that word has appeared. And some of the obscure ones are going to be there once. And some of the more common ones, let's see, here we go. But there's 297 butts. It's a lot of butts. All right. You now need to pick popular words and least popular words. But now you can use the iterator to loop over and look one at a time at each of the key value pairs just like this. Because I imported everything from the util, I didn't need another import for the iterator. However, if you didn't do that, you would need another java.util.iterator import uh, to do your iterator declaration right here.